Ah, uh, it's finally happening. I'm gonna be putting my designated workstation together. Setup area, like I was talking in my last video, a few videos back actually. We're gonna do galvanized pipe for the legs and we're gonna rock it. So let's uh, start doing it. Quick little side note, the fluorescent light above me kind of messed up all the footage and you'll see some line streaking going on. It's funky, I'm sorry. Well, I misaccounted for the this end side being slightly smaller than this side. I'll probably have to get some eights or sixes to make this side a little bit smaller. It'll be more unique and kind of cool with it being unproportionate, just like the tabletop. Uh, yeah, let me fix this real quick. All right. Uh, I'm probably wearing different clothes, obviously. It's the next day. I just wanted to pick these up after work. I got two sixes and one eight just in case. Let's uh, start trying to fix this. I gotta take, I couldn't take the other ones off, so I had to buy new tees. I put them on way too freaking tight. So um, let's do that now. One big table. Honestly, it probably could be a little bit smaller, but I think we're just gonna roll with it. All right. <clears throat> This is the spot. This is where things are gonna happen now. I just kind of did some basic legs. I wanted to match the galvanized pipe behind me that's on the shelf back there with all my stuff. Sentimental things that involve the channel or represent the channel, I guess. And um, actually, I need to get my hat. Oh, and that too. So, Saved by the Bell to go get my hat, I guess. Um, God, this is such a shitty knife. Uh, I actually got screwed with this. I placed a monthly subscription order for some high quality knives. Yeah, forgot about the subscription and I was paying like 90 bucks a month that I didn't know about on my credit card a long, long time ago. But at least I caught it because that could have been real bad. So, as some of you know, I my drone was obliterated at the drift track and I decided that I'm going to be switching to DJI. Some of you are gonna be like, wow, why are you switching to DJI? It's got too much latency. Well, I was talking to the guy there and he said that um, after the recent updates and stuff to DJI, it's actually really good now. The well, latency is still there, but I think it's uh, the next step in direction for FPV. I mean, I haven't been in it for very long, but just reading it about it and how deep I am into it right now, I was just like, yeah, why not? We'll make the switch, we'll try it out. Try it out, by try it out, I mean, this is what's just gonna happen. So I got the goggles, I got the air unit, and by obliterated, this is what I mean obliterated. Like, absolutely thrashed. I mean, I could salvage some of this stuff, like the Nano, TBS Nano, and some of the ESCs and build a new one on analog for decent price. But I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna do the switch. Also, a few other things that I got too. I'm gonna do like some cool LEDs. I don't know, I kind of like purple for some odd reason, as you can see in the background. My favorite color is green, but lately I've been liking like purple lighting. So for LEDs, I'm gonna do, it's RGB, so I can change it to whatever I want, whenever I want. Uh, and then I got the FC as well. So this is the brain of the drone, but look at that packaging. Look at that, it's so sick. And it turns out that this is also a purple, like aesthetic, is that the right word, as well. So it's just gonna work out. It's gonna be a purple, purpley build, I guess. Whatever, I'll roll with it. But yeah, this is the new setup. This is the room, and uh, this is where I'll be doing tutorials and stuff. I'm gonna have my little laptop right here. So we can walk through some tutorials and some just like editing tips. Also, I've been recording with, sorry, my dog hangs out with me in here a lot now. So this is gonna be kind of the thing as well. Uh, I've been filming with the Canon R5 and I think for the next video, I'm going to talk about my thoughts. So far, I've 
absolutely love it. I've gotten some cool photos and I wanna kind of do like a small segment of the Canon R5 explaining like what I've ran, to, ran into and whatever. I have like a few job shoots this weekend and next week I have a real estate gig on Saturday and then I have a elopement wedding next Thursday and I'm gonna try to use this as my main cam but I'm bringing my GH5 with me just in case. You know, my light turned off too. I think it's telling me to stop talking. But these little aperture lights, these things are awesome. Maybe we'll do a video about that too. All right, peace out guys.